Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Nail Decadence and I've got a little video for you. The lovely people at Born Pretty sent me a few items to have a play with. Um, so yeah, this I'm just going to show you what they sent me and I'll be using some of these bits to create a nail design. So as you saw that first gel polish was a lovely purpley blue type colour, it's very pretty, very spring summer type, type of vibes. This is actually a cat eye polish and then we've got the solid gel cream. Now as you can see I've dipped into this already because I had to refilm this bit part, normally I film obviously the opening of the products first. I did do that but the, the file got corrupted so I had to refilm that part after I had filmed it so now as you can see the solid <laughs> solid gel that is no longer been dipped into so anyway let me just carry on <laughs> so that, as you saw that was a trio of solid, solid gel polishes I've never actually used them before so this was my first time playing with them it was really quite fun um, they also sent me a white builder gel as I just showed you and this clear gel which is used to attach full cover tips so I will be using that as well today it's I'm going to show you it's very thick but it's not too thick and I actually really liked using this to apply the full cover tips I, the next video I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you where I put, put the full cover tips on my nails. I actually used um, some Madame Glenn stuff, but I think it would be better if I used that this uh, that brown tube of clear. I'll I'll explain why as we as we go along. Anywho, so I'm going to prepare my lovely hand dolly that I shall be using in this video. Um, if you're interested in getting yourself a silicone practice hand, do head along to www.handolly.co.uk um, you are more than welcome to use my code for uh, a discount it's frost10 um, yeah anywho so I'm going to prepare the nails so literally just removing the natural shine that's all I need to do and then I will size up the tips now I've already sized them up beforehand but I'm just going to show you that's how you would size it up you put you test the nail onto the well test the tip <laughs> against the size of the nail make sure that it reaches sidewall to sidewall um, and then you know size the size them all up and as you can see I just used some rubbing alcohol to remove any dust particles and to also remove any dirt and debris from the tips themselves as well and I mixed up the tips when I was doing that so I'm just making sure I've got them in the right order and now I will use some of the gel the clear gel to apply the tips now as you can see you only need a very small amount and as you see the way I put it on you put it on at the cuticle area and then roll the tip down press it on firmly but not too firm um, and once the gel spreads to right to the end of the nail the natural nail then you can flash cure it in place and then it won't move and carry on get them all done and if any bits any of the gel squeezes out your of the sides you saw there I just take a spatula I remove that because it's not fully set yet I've only flash cured it so I'm able to remove any excess that squishes out I'm able to remove that before I do the full cure so again just a small amount at that cuticle area roll the tip onto the nail and um, flash cure it into place as the gel you I mean you can see because the, these tips are clear you can see where the gel goes from the cuticle area right to the free edge and you'll know when you've reached the free edge and that's when you can just flash cure it in place then give it a full cure for 60 seconds and you're good to go now I like to file the cuticle area to just make sure it's nice and flush I don't want any kind of lip or step which it can happen uh, with full cover tips because you know they they're not pre-blended into the nail you can't do that so I'm 
blending the tip into the nail. I, I want there to be a seamless start to the tip so that you can't, when it grows out, you wouldn't be able to feel it um, or see a step or a lip when the, uh, the tip begins kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing, just a small, uh, uh, yeah, it's a small, very, small it's, it's 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 a cuticle area bit but it's also an under nail cleaner um it's just a fine or yeah it is it's a fine bit I'm just using that to go around you can use your sanding band to do this part as well you don't have to use one of these but because i'm using the hand dolly it's um easier for me to get around the cuticle area with this smaller bit so that's what i'm using once I've finished doing that, I will then just use my trusty sanding band to remove the shine from the tip. Because I'm going to be gel polishing over the top, we want the uh, tip to, we we'll want the gel polish to adhere to the tip. And if I don't remove the shine from the tip, the gel polish can peel off. Gel polish doesn't, and gel products in general, don't like really sticking to shiny surfaces. These tips were already pre-etched, that's why I didn't etch them in the beginning on the inside. They were already pre-etched on the inside, so you can just go straight in and apply them. But on the other side, because they're shiny, I'll have to remove the shine to make sure that um, any product that I apply afterwards will definitely adhere and not peel off or anything and not lift. So. Once I've removed the shine, then I will use a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol just to remove any dust from the nail and then I can start my design. So I've decided to use one of the products that the Born Pretty previously said me, and that's this jelly pink. It makes a really nice base. Um, as a, as a natural sort of cover pink color it, it, but it's 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 still kind of see-through because it's a jelly so it looks really natural it's really nice so I thought I'd apply just one coat of that on this ring finger and I kept finding fluff it's very annoying um <laughs> lint free wipes that aren't lint free drives me nuts but anyway <laughs> um yeah adding that pink to the middle two fingers and then I will, well I'm only doing one layer because I don't need a second layer, one layer is fine. I'm, I'm, like I said, it's, it's meant to be a seafood colour but if you wanted it to be a bit more opaque you can put two layers on, that's fine. I'm quite happy with it being see-through. So yeah, one layer, cured that for 60 seconds because I don't want to bump it and um, end up having to redo it. So I, I do end up bumping nails often. So then I'm applying some of this solid gel and as you can see when I dipped into it it was solid but then as I dipped into it a bit more it turned sort of liquidy. It's really strange. It's really really strange. It's the first time I've used any of this solid gel stuff and it's amazing how it changes consistency when you when you put your brush into it. It's it's really something different. I really liked working with it and it's really cool because you could travel with it and know that it's not going to spill. I mean, that's fabulous. Gel, gel that doesn't spill. I mean, yeah, I, I'm in love with the formula of these. It's so cool. Can't believe I haven't tried these before. Like, what I've been missing out. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely like this this solid gel um, stuff. It's great. Really cool. So anyway, I'm just doing two layers of the um, fluorescent yellow. It's a really, really bright yellow. It screams neon summer vibes for sure. Um, and I've done two layers of it because it's, it's, if you wanted it to be opaque, use a white background. So do a layer of white gel polish if you want it to be see-through. I'm quite happy with the jelly look, so I'm not bothered. But if you wanted these colours to be opaque, if you just put a layer of white gel polish down first, it will not only give you the opaque look to the fluorescent colours, it will also make them pop even more. Um, so do bear that in mind. If you're not going for the jelly look, then apply white and you'll get an opaque look. This orange, my camera is not picking it up 
correctly it's a very very bright orange it looks more red on on the camera and in my photos it looks more red it i find with fluorescent colors my and certain certain blues and greens the camera just doesn't pick the colors up true to what they are i don't know it just just doesn't i'm not sure why even though i've got like the dynamic and hd colors going it it still doesn't pick them up as accurately as as they are as true to life as they are so just bear that in mind the it's a bit more orange and and they are both the yellow and the orange are definitely brighter in person than what you're seeing on camera so just bear that in mind i don't know why certain colors are so hard to photograph and video don't get it myself but i'm not a photographer i'm not a videographer i'm just a person who films videos <laughs> who likes nails and does videos so yeah i'm i don't have a clue about that kind of stuff but yeah very cool it's, i just i can't believe this gel this solid gel stuff i just it's amazing it's so cool so i'm doing just a very quick easy design as you can see it's um you don't have to be terribly neat with this kind of design i mean you could do box it off and make it rectangular these shapes but i'm doing just abstract art there's no fast hard and rule to abstract art you just go with it so i'm just making it up as i go along and yeah this 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 is what i decided to do so i'm just doing some dots and just some um abstract shapes oh i touched the little finger so i'm having to uh, fix that layer of gel polish I'll, I'll cure all of that for 60 seconds that's why i normally cure each one first because i end up touching them it's so annoying anyway so i've cured that for 60 seconds then i'm going to use some of this metallic drawing gel also by born pretty they sent me this in one of my other um, pr hauls so yeah i decided to add some of this in to just make some some lines as you can see and then i did that one line and i was going to do just just keep it as one line and then i thought no i think i'll add another line with a curve on it so that's what i did like i said i was making this design up as i went along and yeah this is this is how it turned out um on the fly design i think it turned out okay let me know what you think it's it's easy but quite effective these kind of designs i love how easy they are you guys know i can't draw for toffee so i will keep it simple if i can do it i know for sure you guys can do it especially with my shaky hands you know what i'm like so yeah i'll cure that for 60 seconds and then it's time to top it off and keep it tough so yeah that's it it's the end of the video so i'd like to say thank you ever so much to born pretty for sending me some products to try i am so pleased you sent me this solid gel it's awesome um thank you ever so much to you lovely people out there watching this video thank you for taking the time and spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you Thank you ever so much. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the Frosty Fam. I'd love to have you. And if you've enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form, or if it's helped you in some way, please go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out. That's all I've got for this time, peeps. You take care now, and I will speak to you all again very, very soon. Some photos are at the end, of course. Take care now, peeps. Bye for now. Siendo moda, yo te quiero, pero déjame. No me amas, eso se te ve. Y si sigues, pues agárrate. Que esta chica no la vuelva a ver. Yo te quiero, pero déjame. No me amas, eso se te ve. Y si sigues, pues agárrate. Que esta chica no la vuelva a ver. Solo quiero ser. Make it